Welcome back. I'm here at Jim's Firearms in Baton Rouge, Louisiana, checking out some awesome new knives. We're going to get started. This is mostly USA made stuff. We got the new Protec Oligarch. This is a solid black. This is my favorite side opening right now from Protec. I think it looks the nicest. This is Dmitry Sinkovich design, correct? Yeah. Yep. And it's a pretty simple, simple clean, thin side opening automatic the only thing i don't like is how high the clip is i do like that it's a small deep carry but a lot of pressure could possibly give you a hot spot right there i wish they would use this screw to keep it in the middle but of course typical awesome protect action that blade shape sorry about the glare it's the lighting i should have brought a light this is in i'm guessing probably magnet cut if i had to guess Yep, CPM Magna Cut. Love that blade shape, nice stone wash finish. Other than the pocket clip, great, you know, initial. I, I, of course, I didn't do any testing. I'm definitely considering getting one of these, but I have a lot of them here. Every time I come here, they usually put about five to the side that I'm trying to contemplate on whether I'm getting. So they got the black one. Any of these knives interest you, call Jim's Firearms in Baton Rouge, Louisiana. Make sure it's the Baton Rouge store. As for Brian or Ross, and they will take care of you. you tell them I sent you. This is my favorite because blue is my favorite color. It's like that electric blue. Love this one. Great action, of course. Lightweight. Love that blade shape. Let's see. They actually feel pretty. Yeah, you can look right here. They're all pretty decently thinly ground. Um, I can one hand close it. Now it is tip up right hand carry only. And they're exactly the same except for the scale colors. What do y'all think about the Oligarch? Did y'all own it? If so, what do you think about it? Have you had any issues with that pocket clip? This is one that it's not new, but they haven't had it in stock here at least for a while. And that is the TR4. Forgot how big this knife is. This thing is ginormous. So it's got the black aluminum, got the safety switch there, the tactical style, the regular clips. And the ginormous four inch blade and 154 cm it's the two-tone you got the satin up here and then the like blasted stone wash or raw stone wash on the primary and wedge pretty comfortable i can choke up if i wanted to and i can even close it one-handed as well and if you don't know the size on this one the delica four for size reference like i said sorry this is the best lighting i can do where this is at all right, I brought the Oligarch back for a size reference with the Delica, Spyderco Delica. As you can see, it's a little bit bigger than the Delica. And the Delica is dwarfed by the TR4. It's one of the little dressier ones. I've always thought that the Newport was a nice looking automatic. This is the custom shop, so you're gonna get the custom shop. Prices, it's got desert iron wood inlay, blue titanium, and it's a looker. Vegas Forge uh, Spirograph. It's beautiful, but the blue anno on the tie definitely goes good with the desert ironwood inlay. It's only on one side. You have a mill. That's a crazy looking mill clip the way they did that. And it, lightweight for its size. I mean, it's not a big knife. And then your button looks like a mosaic pin for the button. Yeah, definitely looks like a spirograph. Yeah. Yeah, this thing is so lightweight. This would be a great gents carry. You know, if you got the kind of money, this would be a beautiful suit carry. And size reference with the Delica. It's about, if you go butt to butt, it's about the exact same length as a Delica. Yep, butt to butt. Now you have more cutting edge on the Newport than the Delica because of that little forward portion. The action on this thing is excellent. So there's the price tag. This is Spyderco Military 2 in crew wear and my Corda. I have just a plain Jane one and I just don't, I don't carry it because I don't like the feeling of the G10. And the my Corda on this one, even though it's not like contour or anything, it, it feels much better than that sawtooth feeling on the peel ply. Love me some crew wear from Spyderco. Never tried out this, their crew wear. God, it, it usually takes such an aggressive edge especially if you put a low grid edge on it. And the military is a ginormous knife, four inch blade, but man, it carries like such a smaller knife. I love the way it slices. Uh, this has now got the compression lock, which 
I think I prefer the liner lock over the compression lock, but I do like the fact that I can, if I want to, I can put the clip down here. You can put it all four directions if you want, but that's just me. What do y'all think about the military and what do you think about the crew wear, the Spyderco's crew wear? This is one of Jim's custom shops that they put together, so that's why the price tag is like that. It's a Spyderco Power 3 and S45 regular black G10. It's a brand new Power 3 that they outfitted with flytanium titanium scales, Lynch deep carry clip. And I gotta say, this feels so much better. Personally, I, I love the way this feels and it's ridiculously smooth. Let's check. Centering is perfect. No wiggle that I feel. Yeah, they did a good job. This is the second one that I've seen that they did this treatment to a bug out, but it sold already. That one I liked as well. So anybody's interested, y'all call Jim's Firearms. They will take care of you. Ask for Brian or Ross. All right, now on to some new Microtechs. I've been wanting to check this one out. There's a price tag. This is the new Gen 3 Combat Troodon Interceptor. So apocalyptic standard. Previously, <clears throat> the Interceptor was only available in customs. And That's now it. they're doing a production version, even though it's a <coughs> signature series. Okay, so y'all heard it first there. So some of the differences that I noticed is the milling. Now they put the Microtech engraved into the scales. You don't have that mile long glass breaker here. I'd much rather the discrete glass breaker. And probably one of my favorite things is they went to the milled clip. Now I don't always love the ceramic ball interfaces, but I, I tried one of these in my pocket. It went, went pretty smoothly. I think the most notable thing about the new Gen 3s is the action. I stayed away from the Truodon for the most part, besides a custom that I had bought a while back because my dexterity in my hands wasn't strong enough for me to push these out. This new double spring that they got in here is butter. Very easy to actuate. I could do this all day. It's comfortable. Yeah, much, much better. This is the new, the interceptor blade with that sawtooth on the top and it is very, very ouchy. Hey, is that top sharpened? It you looks can like definitely it. Saw no, no, no. The the oh, swedge. Um, I mean, it's from the taking video, some, look, look, look right here. Skin off. You see that? It yeah. looks like there's a buckle. Yeah. It's hard to tell, but either it, it does. Either it's got a bevel to it, or it's just I don't know. Maybe the stone washing. No, that is definitely a bevel. You see that, peeps? I don't know too much about this one. Let me feel that. Oh yeah, that, that definitely has a bevel to it. So, that's, that's like a bayonet run almost. I guess, I don't know. Yeah. The right blade shape comes in, I'm, I might pick up one of these. I like that. Very nice. Next up, let's see, there's the price. Oh, that's a good price. This is a Hera 2 Mini Recurve. Say what, I like the size of this. It's bigger than the 85. Hey, can I see the, the small, what is it, the 75 or whatever? The little, yeah, so I can show them the difference. This one has, <coughs> this is the 85 right here. And this is the Mini Hera. So just a little bit smaller. You know, have that mile long glass breaker. The handle's about a quarter inch, it looks like. Somewhere. This is the Hellhound Blade in the 85. Yeah, man, it's such a difference in the actions to these with this double spring. I'm guessing all these have it too because this thing's so easy to fire. I could never do that with one of these. <clears throat> so this is the recurved. I'm sure it's in the M390 MK. Let's see. I can't see it, but the lighting's just not, this is stone washed. What do you think about the recurve blade? I don't like this, this thing weighs absolutely nothing. It also has the, the new clip to it, new glass breaker, very clean. This one's clean. If you wanted to carry it out the front, that wouldn't weigh you down. This would be a great EDC for somebody with medium sized hands. My medium sized hands, I get a four finger grip. Maybe even large hands could fit on here because if I choke up, I have a little bit left over. Yeah, that's a good one, and it's under 
real quick, I'll show you size reference with the spider code. So there it is with the Spydeco Delica. You have way more cutting edge, but the Delica's a hair longer, a little bit, not much. I checked these out at Blade Show. I want to check them out again. Here's the price tag. This is the Kershaw Mini Iridium. I have two of the full size because I like it that much are the different blade shapes. Um, I love the size of this one. It's another one that fits my medium size hands perfectly. I love the blade shape. D2 steel. I'm not a huge, it's like a light baby blue on the handle with bronze accented. Uh, hardware and backspacer. Here it is next to the Delica. It's a little, I mean, a hair smaller than the Delica. I mean, barely. <coughs> but the grip feels a little better than Delica for me. One thing that I would, I would definitely suggest to Kershaw is to use a little bit stronger springs because I can pretty easily flip it out. I mean, not, not dangerous or anything. See, I'm kind of coming down, but I can give it a decent little, it would give the action, it'd make the action nicer and it'd feel a little bit more secure. So that'd be my one suggestion. Just put a little bit stronger Mega Springs. <coughs> one of my favorites from Kershaw <coughs> at the moment Here's the price tag. This is the all blacked out Bel Air. I think this is one of their best values. This, the original one had like the tan aluminum or whatever they called it. This is all blacked out. This is another one that, even though the action's better on this one than the Iridium, it could definitely use stronger Mega Springs. They, they have great actions because they're on bearings. CPM Magnet Cut Steel. That performs good. It's thinly ground, thin blade stock. Being that it has aluminum over stainless steel, it's not it's not heavy. Deep, deep carry box. Look at that. Hangs off the end. Reversible. Excellent value if you're looking for a good EDC knife on a budget. All right, these next ones, I know most of y'all aren't going to like these, but I'm going to show them anyway because they're brand new. So we got the butterfly coming, and then we got two Chris Reeves. So there's a the price tag. You know, it's mention made when you see that. This is the PSK 593BK, the cheaper of the two. So you got the G10 on both sides. Is this an auto? No. I thought for some reason this was an auto. So, wait, is this assisted? Oh, it's assisted. Are these assisted only? They are. Oh, that's garbage. I know but I know some people like that. I just don't. I'm sorry. I wonder if you can de-assist these, being that you have the access lock. I'll never find out. Yeah, me neither. <laughs> yeah, this is definitely not one for me. I know some people are gonna like it. CPM Magna Cut. So that is the, the cheaper, cheaper version. And then of course you got the the church up version as Mr. OCD for EDC calls it. That's gonna run you that much. So 40, was it 40 more dollars? 45 more dollars. And that'll give you about the same G10 with this little bit of carbon fiber up here and red accents. So yeah, still assisted, great action. Tell you what, it's comfortable because it's got thicker scales. It's comfortable, it'd be a good knife, but it's just way too rich for my blood for this, you know, knife. I know it's USA made, but an assisted knife. I never thought I'd see a four hundred five dollar price tag on an assisted knife. The reason I say that, and I know for people who need assist, like not like a police officer or something like that, I get it. But a lot of companies use the assist because you can leave the action crummy. You know, you don't have to refine it to make the action smooth. So you know, it should be cheaper in my opinion. But what do I know? So this is a big old box and that's a big old price. And we got a big old bally. So see, I'm <laughs> I'm way too scared to open this like I normally do because it doesn't have the bite handle on it. And I'm used to that. So whenever I flip it, <laughs> I don't want to lose a digit. So I'll just do that. Let's just do that. What is that, a scimitar type blade? That's what I would call it. This thing is ginormous. This one has JG10 with these little, feels like plastic boots on the end. Very, very smooth. S30V stonewashed. It's a pretty wicked blade. Fairly lightweight. I mean, 
Vince Man knows how to do Balasons. valleys. I mean, that's what I meant to say. Correct. So, is that why they have the butterfly logo? Butterfly I knives? I think that's the, the connection. So, uh, very, very smooth. This got to be on bearings. I mean, this thing is very smooth. I know some flippers like that. Some people, some of them hate it. I like it. It flips nice. There's not a lot of wiggle to the, to the handles. I don't know much about the ballets. I like them. I just, I just don't, can't flip too well. So that's that. <laughs> I know some of y'all might like these. Here's the price tag. This is for the Continental Medallion. Is that John Wick? Yeah. Medallion. That's what they use oh, at the oh. uh, Continental Hotel in the movies. 24 karat gold embellished. I think that's like a plating made in the U.S. So there you go. You can pause that if you want to take a better look at it. Best I can get you there. So it's cool. I have a Microtech coin challenge one like this, but it has a motto on it. That's why I have it. My wife actually bought it <laughs> for herself. So we got some special graphic CRK. So you know they're going to come with a hefty price tag. This is a unique graphic. That's all it says. And then over here you have drop point magnet cut. So there you go. You have like the satin on the flats. And then you have the uh, engraving with the anodization. They, they do a pretty darn good job. I always like the color they do because they face, they face the top after they do the anode. So they can keep that in the engraved spots. And you have the heavy, heavy blasted lock side. That's a pretty huge contrast there. Usually they only do like, the, they used to just do the lock bar or something, or some half of it. You know, all of these are the same. Yeah. But I can't promise that. I don't remember what they <laughs> used to do. Uh, this one has a satin finish on the primary and then stone wash on the flats and probably, yeah, I can't, probably stone wash on the crowning. So that's that one. A little bit more expensive. Yeah, that one's got the uh, citrine uh, stone inlaid yeah, the in citrine, it. Citrine, it's, it's one of the stones. It's one of the stone ones. So you got this 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 thing on Bob in there. It looks pretty cool. Satin on the flats and then the crazy anodization. It's like a brush satin finish on the flats. Um, Both have, I will say the action, and I've always thought these on the special ones, even like most of the wool ones, the actions are usually better. Absolutely. I don't know if they fine tune them a little bit better or it's the, the machining process that they're doing with these, but they're out of box, even though this isn't as smooth as they usually get, these are glassy smooth feeling. I love that feeling. And there's some, some of the, like my, my two new Spences, the out of box action was just rough, real gritty. But when they break in like this, oof, these feel like they've already hit that break in process. So I know some people love these. This one has the same blade satin and then stone washed there. I mean, this one, I'm sorry. Here's another shot of most of the stuff we looked at today, at least one of them out of each. Like I said, if any of the stuff I showed you today interests you, call Jim's Firearms, Baton Rouge, Louisiana. You can ask the person on the loudspeaker if they can help you, but they probably can't. You can ask for Brian or Ross. They will take care of you. Tell them I sent you. And I tell you, if you see something and you, you're like, man, I really want that, and you're thinking to yourself, somebody else probably called, that happens all the time, and it ends up, nobody ends up calling in. A lot of times it does get sold, but more times than none, you can people think it's already probably sold out because they saw it late or something and a lot of people think that so if you see something you like call them up what's the worst that can happen you, sometimes they have more than one of certain knives sometimes they don't but if you ask for one of them two gentlemen they can assist you the best all right guys and girls if you have any questions comments concerns leave those down below i hope everyone else have an absolute amazing day i will see y'all on the next one peace